Hello everyone, this is Sridhar Baldova. I'm a structural engineer with Walter P. Moore and Associates based in Austin. Today I'm going to discuss shear wall layout optimization using HyperStudy. So the shear wall conceptual design basically for buildings that use shear walls as a lateral force resisting system. We have to come up with a layout or location of walls and plan that works with the different floor programming constraints. For example, in a mixed use building, the upper levels may be residential and the lower levels may be dedicated to parking or retail. Once a layout is agreed upon, we have to come up with wall thicknesses and strengths that meet the stiffness and strength requirements. Uh, so meet the drift criteria and in our sort of traditional process, you would sort of select some preliminary design based on experience. You run the analysis, and if something doesn't work, you iterate. This trial and error approach can take easily a couple of weeks to come to a feasible solution and not necessarily an optimized solution. As we were thinking of different approaches to sort of overcome this computational problem, we sort of jumped onto a hyper study by Altair, which is a tool that provides several features that are sort of conducive to doing this sort of study. The one of the main features of hyper study is that it integrates with your workflow so you don't have to build your finite element model or learn new skills for the new finite element software. Some of the other features it provides is it provides a nice setup for running design of experiments. Uh, what we chose for this project was a modified extensible lattice sequence, which reduces the number of runs significantly. For the problem that we saw on the previous slide, it takes about 500 runs to sort of come up with a design surface or sort of a response surface for your design with all those 30 variables. And once you have done the design of experiment, you can also run optimization using that study in HyperStudy. After the design of experiment is done, so your, uh, HyperStudy provides you a lot of different post-processing tools. For example, on this, we see a Pareto plot that sort of shows the relationship of the top 10 variables that influence the parameter of interest you sort of learn about how the building is behaving. And once the design of experiment is done, you sort of move on to the optimization stage, where again, HyperStudy comes with many different optimization schemes. For our study, we chose the global response search method, which is the recommended me method if you have a lot of different variables and your simulation times are not trivial. The other advantage of this is you can include the results from your design of experiment into this optimization. So again, reducing the overall time it takes to come to an optimum solution. So in summary, uh, we've used HyperStudy that helps you de design experiments to understand the response of your structure and come up with optimized solutions in a fraction of time compared to other methods.